Um, hello, I'm speaking today with um, Dawn Prohl, founder and executive director of the uh, Sports Side Foundation, um, as well as Joshua Dunayev, Dr. Joshua Dunayev, Adele Neeson, professor of ophthalmology. Uh, they are speaking to me um, today about a new resource uh, for the AMD community, AMD Central. Um, could you tell me about the main stakeholders and what input they've, they've had uh, into creating this new resource? Absolutely. Well, these are my esteemed colleagues and I'm very uh, humbled and proud to be in, within this group. It's Prevent Blindness. Of course, the Support Site Foundation, which I'm the founder and executive director, Bright Focus, American Macular Degeneration Foundation, and also MD Support. Um, and uh, could you tell me a little bit about the role, what role each of these organizations played in, um, in launching their website? Sure. Um, the role was, Every, each collaborator's role was uh, as a partner and founder. Um, the thing that made this project the most uh, incredible, I mean, there's lots of reasons, but the main reason is that it's the first of its kind where all of us in the uh, macular degeneration space who, who provide patient education, patient advocacy to the millions of people who need us uh, across the country and across the world uh, came together and worked on this project to benefit uh, the patients and the caregivers. So we've never done that before. We broke down the silos and this is uh, the first project of its kind in this disease. So we worked uh, tirelessly for about six months, uh, met uh, weekly and uh, built the website, amdcentral.org. So the collaboration was ideas generated by everyone. It was very diplomatic uh, process, very informed, and people were real, very energized by it. It was really a show of uh, what we can do if we work together, uh, because we all agree that this disease is bigger than all of us. And uh, in order to find new treatments and a cure and get what patients and families and caregivers need, we had to do this. So it was was really exciting and very rewarding. Could you tell me in a bit more detail why, uh, why do you think this resource was needed in the first place? Why it was needed? Because there's nothing else out there like it. There's no one central place, and hence the name AMD Central, where people can go to find out initial credible trusted information. There's no resource that brings it together in a concise, easy to read, um, easy to digest way. I mean, when you find out you've been just been diagnosed with macular degeneration and you're gonna lose your eyesight, it's pretty scary. And then the first thing you think of is now what do I do? And this resource is, uh, is that, you don't have to go searching around. Um, what do you think, Josh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, patients, when they, when they go to the doctor in general, they're scared and it's very hard to listen to everything the doctor says. And also the doctor can be in a hurry. So they say things quickly, sometimes use medical jargon. So it's really valuable for the patient to have a resource that like this that they can look at at their own leisure in a large typeface with nice contrast for patients who have some visual impairment and they can access information about the causes of AMD, uh, put their actual risk of vision loss in perspective. Uh, some patients with early AMD may never lose their central vision. Uh, and it's really important for them to, to take comfort in that. And even the patients with advanced AMD don't lose all their vision. They just, they lose their central vision, which is devastating, but they don't go black blind, they can still uh, use their peripheral vision to navigate around. And this site has all kinds of resources, as Dawn said, all brought together. It has information about AMD. It has uh, information about support groups, about uh, research that's around the bend that is gonna provide new uh, exciting therapies, about uh, AIDS, mechanical aids and optical aids. 
that can help patients who have reduced vision uh, function, uh, just all, all kinds of resources all brought together. And what are um, the specific accessibility needs of this community and how did you address them with, uh, with this website? Well, one of the things that we all, you know, concur, and there's everything about this website, we, you know, each founding uh, partner concurs. That's the beautiful part. I mean, you don't change the Amstler grid. It is what it is. You know, there's a certain level of information that we provide patients and families so that that is standard. Um, but the accessibility was really key. Obviously, you can't be in this business and not be sensitive to that. So we've got the website is set up so that it's got the contrast. It's got the, the uh, increase in magnification for the text size, the font, you know, the, the size of the uh, 14 point aerial is kind of the standard. We also used, we created a lot of white space. So there's a lot of air in there. Um, you know, oftentimes the less characters, the better. So shortening up the words and conc being concise in the language. And we also tested it. We tested it thoroughly with end users before we launched it and also ran it through. In fact, one of our board members who uses JAWS, which is, a, or Zoom Text, which is a, you know, a reading technology uh, software. Uh, he ran it through the JAWS test to make sure that all of the buttons, all of the settings were set up so that someone who is, you know, struggles to see the screen um, can use the site. That doesn't mean there should, aren't going to be some improvements along the way, but we really did a great job with that. Proud of it. And Dr. Tanayev, uh, why do you think uh, ophthalmologists and other eye care professionals should recommend this resource to their AMD patients? It's, uh, it's a good question. It's really easy to use. It's a beautiful website with uh, uh, as Dawn was saying, uh, easy to read typefaces, reverse contrast, uh, large, large print, and information about a wide range of topics that are important for AMD patients and their families um, who help to support them. And uh, so, it, so it's, it's uh, really two things. It's, it's easy for people to use and it has a, a wide range of comprehensive information uh, about AMD and I'm- And Alexander, if I can yeah. just enter, you know, add to Dr. Deneff, I think that um, patients need to know this is out there and the doctors, the doctors there, they, it's the best thing they could do to hand it off to and tell people about it so that it's like the next step, right, Dr. Deneff? after you've been in the, pay, in the waiting room in the office and then say, oh, by the way. Yeah, I mean, patients need to be given something to look at after they leave the office or to listen to. It's not uh, enough for the, for the patient to just listen to the doctor in the course of a, of a short visit. Uh, it, they need ongoing information and resources to refer to uh, when, when they leave. It's... Um, Kind of like in the in the uh, old older days, uh, back before my hair turned blonde, uh, <laughs> we would give uh, patients a pamphlet uh, about their disease. But now this is so much better because they can. It's interactive. They can look for specifically what they're interested in. They can enlarge the font. They can turn up the brightness. Uh, it's uh, much much more information and much easier to use. Mm -hmm. And easy to pass on to to their family members or any anyone else interested, as you mentioned. So, what feedback have you had so far from doctors, from patients, from uh, stakeholders? Do you want to speak to the doctors, uh, Josh? It, it's really new. Um, so, uh, the, um, the the feedback that I'm giving you is really I'm just seeing the. Uh, the website uh, very recently, and I was very happy with how it looks and how easy it is to use. And the feedback from uh, constituents, from families, from end users, from patients, uh, and also from um, other professionals in the low vision industry has been very positive. 
Uh, again, we I'll go back to the fact that we did uh, you know user test this before we launched, and we not only put it in front of patients, but we also um, accessed, uh, like I said, other prof eye care professionals, and the feedback's been incredibly positive. People, you know, now the challenge is just to get the word out there and let people know it's there in the big, wide, wide world web <laughs> um, and get it in front of people so they can use it. But, you know, this uh, having this conversation today is really going to help that. Yep. Great. Uh, yeah, I hope we can uh, encourage our, our uh, readers to, to share it with, your, with the um, MD patients. Um, any last thoughts, anything that we haven't talked about that you, you think might be important to mention? Do you want to go, go first? Uh, I, I think we've really covered the most uh, important points about the site. Uh, also, it, it will be updated, so it's, it's another thing that's improved over uh, the, the pamphlets. This is, it's much easier to update the information on the site on an ongoing basis. So uh, patients can expect that they're gonna get the uh, real, really uh, recent information. And there is a, a lot of uh, excitement and, uh, and change in the, uh, in the AMD world. There are some treatments that are uh, look like they're around the corner for uh, advanced dry AMD, uh, the geographic atrophy form. And for wet AMD, there are some treatments that look like they're going to be able to reduce the frequency of required treatments. Patients and their family certainly want to know when that's coming and what's the progress on uh, all of that. And that's much easier to deliver in the uh, format of a, of a website than, uh, than, than most other uh, media. And that all of that is incredibly exciting. And um, thank you, Dr. Dania, for kind of sharing kind of a little preview of some of the research. I would add to that from a patient advocacy and education standpoint that um, AMD Central is, is really built to empower patients and individuals, and that the more you know about the disease, your disease, the more you know about uh, living with macular degeneration. You know, some people who are diagnosed at age 50 can potentially live half their life with, with uh, losing their vision. So married up with the research and the science side, AMD Central, you know, connects all of that promise, promise and hope with uh, knowledge and learning and knowing how to cope with it. So, uh, so it's really a great connection for patients overall. So they understand each piece of, of the disease and um, we're, we're very, we're really happy and very proud of it. And we're, it'll just get better. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. thank you both very much. Thank you, Alexandra.